Hi, I'm Ken Kaplan, owner of Kaplan Cycles in Rockville, Connecticut. Feast your eyes on this beautiful 2014 RMZ 450 that we just got done doing a full race prep on. Uh, this bike is in pristine, brand new condition, has less than two hours on it. And um, I'll give you a complete description of everything we've done to it. I guess we'll start up at the top here. Um, the bike has the uh, uh, Pro Grip 801 uh, dual density grips and the Rockstar thumb protectors. Uh, we've upgraded to the uh, Pro Circuit uh, aluminum brake and clutch lever. Uh, it's got the Renth Renthal fat bars, uh, Pro Circuit clutch lever. <clears throat> the uh, frame on the bike has been uh, polished, about eight hours worth of polishing on the aluminum frame. The um, swing arm also, uh, we had to remove the factory coating and then polish the aluminum on that. And the swing arm's fully polished, uh, both sides obviously. Um, the subframe has been polished and the stock factory exhaust has been polished and has a Suzuki logo on it. Uh, so most of the aluminum has been polished. Also the wheels uh, were polished with mother's uh, aluminum polish spokes also. So just, just beautiful. The bike's absolutely spotless. There's not a speck of, of dirt on it. The bike's never been on a track. It's only been ridden in a field and broken in. Uh, it's brand new condition. Like I said, less than two hours on it. Um, the uh, OEM style graphics on the tank with uh, the um, custom number plates, uh, rear fender, um, just beautiful. There's not a scratch on this bike anywhere. Uh, factory connection, Shawa graphics on the forks and the shock. Um, plastics are brand new on the bike, not a speck of dirt or scratch anywhere. The uh, wheels have uh, were taken apart and new Dunlop MX-52s were put on there. You can see they have the nubs on there. They've never touched the ground other than rolling across the floor of the shop, never been in the dirt. The uh, heavy duty tubes were installed. Also, the um, has the uh, Outlaw Racing aluminum valve stem cover and silicone Outlaw Racing mud guard. <clears throat> the uh, rim lock has the Outlaw Racing uh, billet red rim lock and these are the Takasago XL rims um, just beautiful wheel and tires uh, same thing on the rear brand new Dunlop MX-52s uh, the um, actually the, the the rim graphics are reflective which is pretty cool so when you take a picture they actually kind of glow in the dark uh, rims are spotless polished polished spokes again the rim lock and uh, uh, the uh, valve stem cover on the rear you can see the swing arm is like chrome. Um, the, uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, no, no scratches, uh, maybe a tiny scratch on the engine cover here from when I did the break in, I was wearing my boots. A couple little scratches on the engine cover. Maybe there's one over here too, one or two. But uh, bike's immaculate. Um, has the original OEM filter with uh, no toil filter oil on it and rim grease on there. Uh, oil was changed to the Maxima Pro Plus 1040. Uh, the um, brand new air filter has a CV4 engine temperature. Uh, um, gauge on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The uh, engine hour meter has a hard line uh, mounted tachometer and uh, engine hour meter, uh, CV4 breather tube. Um, all the hardware on the bike has the uh, Outlaw Racing billet, red washers on there. It's at a certain uh, level of um, fit and finish that's uh, you know, worthy of this bike. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? Um, I have the paperwork on it, I can show you. Take a look over here and I'll fire it up so you can hear it run. Thing sounds awesome. Just a beautiful bike. Uh, the paperwork we got, we have the uh, certificate of origin for the vehicle right here. And you can see the, the um, original bill of sale. Uh, the bike was $89.99 plus the um, sales tax. And uh, actually it was uh, um, with the conveyance fee, it was $89.99 <clears throat> and was shipping. So with tax out the door, it was $9,777. They do have a rebate on them right now. Uh, you can actually get one for around uh, $8,500 out the door. There, we, we called around a few different shops uh, I also have an extra set of brand new graphics that goes with the bike. These are the uh, Yoshimura Suzuki uh, tank graphics. 
uh, shroud graphics that go with the bike in case you wear out the OEM uh, style graphics that are on it now. So we got the MSO, uh, the bike was paid for cash by a, a friend of ours, uh, older vet rider who had a heart attack after he got the bike um, and uh, was told he can't ride. So in any event, um, bike's never been on a track. It's showroom condition. Uh, there's over $12,000 invested in the bike between the 90, the almost 10 grand he paid out the door for its stock. And uh, we got about 20 hours into the bike between all the work we did to it and a full eight hours, that includes a full eight hours of, of, of aluminum polishing. I don't know if you ever, if you ever done one of these swing arms, you know it's a lot of work. Uh, the frames aren't quite as bad to do. Uh, there was probably only two and a half, three hours into the frame. Um, so it's got the OEMC cover, immaculate, perfect condition. These have the aluminum tank. Uh, also the, the uh, 2000, this bike, the 2014 RMZ 450 won the Trans World Motocross Shootout, was the bike of the year for 2013 and 2014. Uh, it's the current model, December 3rd, 2014. Um, the 15s are coming out, so they do have that rebate, but you're not going to walk out of the dealer with a new stock one for less than 8500 around here anyways, uh, we called around. So uh, the buy it now on this is, is set for about a grand less than, than what you could get a stock one for. And again, there's, there's, there's a uh, well, well $12,000 tied up in this bike. Um, and if you read the ad, we have all the documentation on it. So. Um, it's just spotless everywhere. If you have any questions on the bike, give me a call. Uh, my phone number is on the ad. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, it has a DID, uh, or excuse me, the um, Renthal, excuse me, Renthal gold chain. This is also the O-ring chain. It's going to last a little bit longer. Uh, upgraded from the standard chain. That's a, you know, the standard chain is kind of a ch uh, cheaper chain. So. I think I covered just about anything. If, if I missed anything, then uh, I've got the information in the ad. Uh, if you have any questions, call me, uh, and good luck bidding. Thank you.